guys welcome back to my channel it's nikki with simply home by nikki uh welcome if you guys are new i've been getting a lot of new subscribers and i hit my 1000 subscriber mark and i'm so so excited for that so thank you to everybody who you know is a long time subscriber everybody who's a new subscriber i just appreciate it so much i'm going to be hosting a um, 1000 subby challenge coming soon so you know hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when i post what that's going to be but I did want to do a project share with you today on these button beaded, uh, button and beaded tassels that I did. I was going to try and do a tutorial, but I just ran out of time. So I'm just going to do a project share instead. I'll kind of talk you through what I did and hopefully it makes sense. So I ended up creating two, either Halloween or fall, you know, however you want to look at it, uh, the pumpkin shape here and then two with a Christmas shape here. And I'm going to go ahead and pop up a picture. I did get this idea from a, I think it was a blog, but um, I'll link it here. I'll link the actual blog down below so you can go take a look at it. But I'll just throw up a picture. That was kind of my inspiration picture for, picture for how to stack the trees up here. Um, and so you guys can take a look at that. So with the pumpkins, I ended up using seven buttons and the buttons I just got from Walmart. These were a variety pack of just the greens, hot pinks and oranges, but they also did have this package of different shades of green. And I'll link these down below if I can find them. Um, I know, I think one is around $5, one is around $10 if I'm not mistaken. And they did have the variety pack of colors, I think just in green and red at my store. So maybe your store um, color, it carries different colors. Hopefully you can find what you need. But um, for this tassel for the pumpkin, I used seven and I started with the biggest one in the middle and then I just went down three below and three above and then finished it off with three small green ones for the stem. I am using some beads from nbeads.com and I will link these down below as well. These are the perfect size, like big bubble gum beads to use to just make a statement on the piece. So that's why I chose those. And I just love the quality of them and um, the brightness. So the, the orange matches perfectly and with a white in there, it just gives it a little bit of a pop of color, I think. So I like it. Um, so... What I did is you're gonna use an entire skein of embroidery floss when you make this. Um, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to um, cut off a 10 inch piece and a 20 inch piece before you start. And that's gonna give you enough to wrap around here to make the little bulb on top. That's gonna to be your 10 inch piece. Your 20 inch piece, you're going to feed through the bottom. And that's what you're gonna to use to loop up through all the beads and come back down through all the beads and all the buttons to the bottom. So, um, you know, once you have your 10, 10 inch piece and your 20 inch piece cut off, then you're going to wrap the rest. You're going to use the entire embroidery floss. I use like a three by four project life card and you're just going to wrap it all the way around there. Um, so I ended up doing this one in a solid orange, which matches this perfectly, but I also love this like ombre colored orange on this one. So I just like the little differences in them. Um, I added a little bit at the bottom just for a little stability and just to kind of finish off the top of the tassel there. Um, I used the clasps at the top. These I think are from AliExpress. The chains are from Amazon and the charms are also from Enbead. So I'll link those pumpkin charms below. Um, these little green bows are from AliExpress and I just think that those just finish it off really nicely. For the Christmas trees, this one I used more of a yarn. Uh, I thought I had it up here and I don't, but this is more of like a, oh, like a thinner yarn. It's more like a twine type of yarn, but I like that it had all the different Christmas colors in it. And for this one, I finished it off with just white pieces of embroidery floss. So I tied the middle with a white piece and then I went up through the bottom of the tassel to loop all the buttons and clasp on with a white piece of embroidery floss too. And that just kind of goes in there. Um, but for this one, I used a silver star at the top. This one, I used a gold star at the top. These stars are from Dollar Tree. They come in this little um, metallic bead package and it has three different colors, the uh, gold, the silver, and the bronze. This clasp I think is from Amazon. This is a plastic one, but I just like how the hot pink looks. Uh, this white one is the same one from Allie. I've got two little uh, chains on here a red one with a stocking charm on it. And then this one is the pink with a 
kind of a pink peppermint and then a snowflake. These snowflakes are in the button section at Joann's and I think these are from uh, Joann's as well. They come in a strand. Either Joann or Hobby Lobby has a strand of multicolor ones. So again, I finished these off with the little bows from um, AliExpress. So that is uh, how they turned out, you guys. I'm absolutely in love with these. If you would like me to attempt to do a tutorial, um, I certainly can, but um, I'm going to link one of my older videos down below, and it was how to make the tassel. So it's going to be the same concept as how I did that one. Um, so if you want to look at that for reference, you certainly can do that, and I think you'll be able to figure it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the project, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.